do you think you people are? For hundreds of years, hundreds of years we've had bear markets, and when you have a long period of excess, somebody has to clean out that excess. You cannot just keep going and going and going and going and pouring money down a rat hole. The world doesn't work that way. Thousands of young people out on the streets demonstrating, demanding their government does something. But the Greek government is stuck inside the Euro straitjacket. There's nothing they can do, there's nothing a future general election can do in Greece to change anything. And when people have taken away from them the ability through the ballot box to determine their own futures, then I'm afraid that violence becomes the only logical alternative. You said the operative words. We were told. Yes, you know who told us that? The banks. The banks who were panicking. They called up and said, save me, save me, save me. Come on, let them. I want to repeat. Banks have been going bankrupt for hundreds of years. It's not the end of the world. It may Because we experienced not long ago a serious threat to our sovereignty. So what are you saying? that this isn't quite as bad. <laughs> What's happened in the last week marks the beginning of the end. Spain's in economic trouble. Italy, as German economists at the time said, should never have joined the what euro. What you've done with this euro is you have trapped people in an economic prison. Millions of people in Europe will be put through pain as you attempt to keep together this disastrous project that is the euro. It will fall to pieces. Of that there can be no doubt. What they're being told, as their government's collapsing, is that it would be inappropriate for them to have a general election general election a general election general election general election general election just who the hell do you think you people are <laughs>